already uh, learned that cells come from other cells, so are, are all cells the same? No, that's a great question. Our bodies are made up of animal cells, but our liver cells are different than our brain cells, so there are certainly different types of cells. But we can separate all cells into two big groups, prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells. Oh wait, I, I know that pro means first, so were prokaryotic cells the first ones? Yes, as a matter of fact, um, the first organisms to ever exist on Earth were made of prokaryotic cells. And they're very simple, but they still have everything they need to be alive. Cool. What, what kind of parts do they have? Well, they have several organelles, which are basically just the parts of the cell that allow them to survive. The outermost is the cell wall. So it's on the very outside of the cell. And um, basically what it does is it provides support and protection for the cell. Oh, so, so it's like the fence that helps protect the cell. Yes, exactly. And the next layer is similar. It's the cell membrane. And it also offers protection because it allows only certain substances to either enter the cell or to leave the cell. Oh, okay. So it allows some, something in and out of the cell, but not other things. So it's kind of like a security guard. Exactly. So um, then there's all the kind of empty space in the middle, but it's not really empty. It's a jello-like substance called uh, cytoplasm. And basically it just holds everything that's in the cell in place. Okay, so cytoplasm is like jello. Got it. All right, then there are the ribosomes, and there are all these little dots here. Um, and they may look just like dots, but they're really, really important because they make the proteins that then make up the entire cell. And we learned about proteins before, that they're the building blocks of cells. So ribosomes are really important. Oh, so they're like little factories in the cell, like little protein factories. Right, exactly. Little protein factories. Um, but just like any factory needs instructions, mm -hmm. um, the cells have DNA. And we learned about DNA before also. So we know that it's a nucleic acid, and nucleic acids carry genetic information. Um, so that basically means that the DNA directs all the activities in the cell, including telling, how, uh, telling the ribosomes how to make protein. Cool. So it's like the blueprint. Exactly. For those proteins. Exactly. And the prokaryotes also have extra little blueprints called plasmids. Um, they code for certain um, traits or proteins that are helpful, but they don't actually have to have them to survive. Like it might be nice to be six feet tall, but you don't have to be. Exactly. So it might be nice to be antibiotic resistant, but you don't have to be. All right, then there are the pili, which are these little structures here, and they're these projections that help bacteria do two different things. They help attach them to surfaces, but they also help them share those plasmids. So if you have antibiotic resistance and I want it, you could share it with me if you were a prokaryote. Nice. Um, so share, share genetic information? Yeah, so remember these plasmids are little extra pieces of DNA. So the plasmids help, tr or the pili help transmit the plasmids from this cell mm -hmm. to some other prokaryotic cell. Cool. Well, any others? Well, prokaryotes are all unicellular. So they have to have a few extra things. So, so you mean they're only in one cell? Right, so the entire organism is just this one cell here. So since that's it, they have to have some way to get around. So um, some prokaryotes have either cilia, which are these short hair-like projections that they use for movement. Um, some have flagella, which are longer whip-like tails. Both of them help them to move. Wow, so these are the simple cells? Yeah, that's about as simple as it gets before you can't really be alive anymore. Um, these guys, because they are fairly simple, are very, very small. Later we're going to talk about larger, more complex eukaryotic cells. Spend a little while observing details of this prokaryotic cell. See if you can draw it from memory. Here are some examples of bacterial cells. Plasmid DNA can be transferred to other bacteria through pili. Observe cilia and flagella on these prokaryotic cells. 
They help the cell to move and to attach to surfaces. See if you can identify the cell parts in this prokaryotic cell.